Playground Games has announced that Forza Horizon 4 players will be receiving free stuff every day this month. The Horizon Holiday Party 2019 celebrates the festive season with a free car in a Forza Tune shop. And Forza Horizon 4 players can claim their free car by simply loading the game and visiting the Forza Tune shop. The holiday party will get to end December 31st. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Season 1 content is arriving this week and Activation has revealed a free stuff coming for players. Season 1's free content includes maps for multiplier and gunfight which are crash and vacant for multiplier, shipment for multiplier and gunfight, and port, cargo, and atrium for gunfight. Additional maps will be added as Season 1 progress. New modes, infected, and on-site uh, procurement will also be added, along with the special ops experiences. Note that not all this will be coming at launch. Rockstar has released Red Dead Redemption 2's latest patch on PC, which includes the fixes for game crashes and stability issues. You may also read the full patch notes over at Rockstar's official website. The stability focus patch is expected to fix a number of crashing issues in game, which resulted from issues on graphics uh, card compatibility and errors related to memory. Rockstar has promised to continue working on any lingering issues moving forward and that a vast majority of performance issues on PC have already been addressed. Super Mario Maker 2 is getting a new patch on December 5th, which will be adding some new free content. This update brings the new speedrun mode, new course of parts, and also Link from The Legend of Zelda. Link will be playable in the game's 8-bit Super Mario Bros. A palette and players can summon it with a new Master Sword item. Playing as a Link will allow the players to shoot arrows, even use the sword, and even drop the bombs. Rainbow Six Age Operation Shifting Tides is upon us. The update rolls out December 3rd today and is available starting 3 p.m. CET. Console players will get a staggered release time 4 p.m. CET for PlayStation 4 and 5 p.m. CET on Xbox One. Shifting Tides brings a significant amount of content, including new operators Kali and Wamai, a rework of the theme park map, and a lot more. Full details on Shifting Tides can be found in the game's official site.
CSGO has set a new all-time record which could be attributed to the release of its new operation, Shattered Web. According to the loadout, the CSGO Steam Shards page, it shows that the game has reached a player count of 426,080.8 in November 2019, its highest player count of all time. The last time the game reached this record was back in August with 415,000 average users. Shattered Web wrote a progression system that's similar to Battle Pass, which will let the players earn cosmetics and a lot more. Riot Games has announced that it is hosting a 3D League of Legends festival in the Middle East, a first in the region. The event is called The Nexus and it will be held in Saudi Arabia from December 5 to 7. The prize pool is a whopping $850,000 for the tournament. Eight teams from the Middle East will be battling for the prize, including Morocco, Kuwait, and Lebanon. The event will also host co uh, cosplays, a team fight tactics and matches, and a performance from Jason Derulo in the closing ceremonies on December 7th. Again, that would be December 7th. Untitled Ghost Game could be coming to the PlayStation 4 if we are to base on its trophies list, website exophase list, a PS4 trophies list for the game, where the players will earn a trophy by competing to do list and other tasks. Developer House House has not confirmed anything yet, although they previously mentioned that they were planning to potentially bring the game to consoles. Untitled Ghost Game is currently available both for PC and also on Switch. December is quite a busy month for competitive gaming and if you're one of those who want to tune in and check out the latest esports happenings, we've got them covered for you guys. This month, the ASL Pro League Season 10 Finals will be taking place in Denmark from December 6 to 8. And up next is a Blast Pro Series Global Final which will start December 12. It will be held in Bahrain. The Rocket League Championship Series Season 8 Finals from December 13 to 15. It will take place in Spain. Up next will be the United States Nationals 2019, also happening December 13th in Las Vegas. Finally, there is the Shadow Race World Grand Prix 2019, which kicks off December 25th in Japan. Square Enix has introduced a Trials of Mana's protagonist in a series of Twitter posts. The game features six different protagonists and they are The Swordman Doran, Angela Wants to Master Magic, Charlotte the Elf, The Beastman Human Kevin, The Young Thief Hawkeye, and finally The Amazon Guard Captain and Princess Reese. Trials of Mana is set to launch April 24, 2020 for PC, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch.
The latest episode of Kinda Funny Games Cat Games Cast has revealed that Marvel Spider-Man 2 could be launching in 2021 for the PlayStation 5. The information came from Emran Khan, the show's host, who was also a former senior editor at Game Informer. He mentioned he is familiar with some secret details about the game and news too much about it. He also even said he thinks the game could be launching sooner than we think. So it will be sooner than 2021. The Daily Deals are here, so you can get to play the military tactical game Anti-Squad for free. Also, you can check out the price draft games right now, which are the online tactical shooter Ghost Recon Breakpoint, the football simulation game PS 2020, and the racing video game Need for Speed Heat. The game with the best discount for today is the action role-playing game Get Eater to Rage Boys. You can grab the chance to get these games. Just go to our Daily Deals page at allkshop.com. Stardew Valley recently got a really big patch that changed so much that it has called or it was called the everything update. However, patches sometimes have issues too and as expected, a post-patch update was released in an effort to hammer out the said issues. The patch notes of update 1.4.0.1 .1 have been posted and the list is unsurprisingly lengthy. If you wish to see the full patch notes, you can visit the game's official website. The update is live for PC players, not yet for console and Android players. PopCop Games is pleased to announce Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville next in-game event. To add to the exciting aura of the announcement, the developer released a cinematic trailer. The video introduces players to the holiday-themed Giddy Park social hub, currently available for exploration. The game is now littered with presents and appropriately themed items that make even the zombies seem in the festive spirit. Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville is available for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. League of Legends has regained the top spot for the most watched game on Twitch for 2019. After the viewership record breaking Fortnite World Cup, many would assume Epic Games BR would remain at the top. However, Riot League of Legends continues to prove a testament of longevity. Both games are way ahead of third place, which is currently occupied by just chatting. Though viewership isn't the best indicator of a game's success, it does hold a lot of merits and it is something to be proud of.
Square Enix has been generating a lot of interest recently, particularly where the Nier franchise is concerned. The developer action role-playing hacking slash game Nier Automata won the Platinum Prize at the PlayStation Awards recently, and for that, a congratulations are in order. The timing could not have been much better considering Nier is celebrating its 10th anniversary. In doing so, Nier franchise has opened a 10th anniversary teaser website where a brand new logo is currently on display. Radical Fish Games has announced that a new DLC is coming to cross code. As an interesting or as interesting as that is, it is the lesser of two big pieces of information divulged. The developer also announced that the game will be coming to Nintendo Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. A gameplay trailer was also released which showcased the incoming extended Rhombus Square, more quest into brand new Final Dungeon. Crosscode is currently available for PC and is expected to come to console in the second quarter of 2020. Big Ben and Big Ant Studios have unveiled a new video for AO Tennis 2, which is the second game in the official Australia Open series. The developer also released a trailer providing potential players with a behind-the-scenes look at the new features of the game. According to the developer, the game aims to simulate the atmosphere and intensity of the competition at the Melbourne Park Sports Complex and its three main courts. AO Tennis 2 is slated to release on January 9, 2020. T1 announced its upcoming debut in a recent Overwatch tournament, and apparently, they are now joining the upcoming season of Overwatch Contenders Korea 2020. The joint venture between SK Telecom and Comcast Spectator was actively scouting for players and coaches from Fusion University to form a formidable roster. Once it deems worthy of contention, this announcement suggests it found exactly what is sought after and it will be interesting to see how this newly formed roster performs. CI Games has just released their first patch as well as some new free content for Sniper Ghost Warrior contracts. The free DLC packs comprise of the Summer's Nostalgia and a Positive Vibes Weapon Skin Packs, which includes eight different skins. In addition, the Kel T12 gauge semi automatic shotgun has been added to the game and can make a fine addition to your le um, level arsenal. The game can be acquired through Steam where the patch notes for the update are also in display. Can he save it? Can he get the double OT? So 
OG Bruce's sister Brianda shares interest in CSGO with subtle hints like a recent change in its Twitter name to Unnamed Team. Surely it never officially confirmed who or what team is about or even what game it will be playing, but the chief speculation is that it is building a CSGO roster. The speculation has a bit of merit to it as the organization has been allegedly negotiating some top CSGO players. OG currently has one of the top teams in Dota 2 and will potentially have one in CSGO as well. All in games and uh, Gamera Interactive have agreed to merge forces in an effort to bring you all the lost champions of the fourth kingdoms. This pairing brings another dimension of resources to the production and distribution of the title. The developers describe the game as a high fantasy RPG that is set in a dark world that draws inspiration from the First darkest world. period of the Middle Ages. Their ambition is to deliver a fully realized ARPG landscape that combines classics and modern action games. Bandai Namco has announced that My Hero Wants Justice will be coming to Steam on March 13 of next year. According to the developer, the game will continue where its predecessors left off with a revamped story mode, additional characters, and all new features. In case you don't already know, My Hero Wants Justice 2 is a highly stylized fighting game. If you need more of an introduction to the game, a gameplay trailer was released with its announcement that you can watch on PlayStation's official YouTube channel. The Daily Deals are here! Get to play the military tactical game Anti-Squad for free. Also check out the Prize Drop games right now, which are the online tactical shooter Ghost Recon Breakpoint, the football simulation game PS2020, and the racing video game Need for Speed Heat. The game with the best discount for today is the action role-playing game God Eater Tier Rage Burst. Grab the chance to get these games, just go to our Daily Deals page at allkeyshop.com.